Oh, hi, kid. Is this your daddy? Your dad has a job. You should be thankful. Because look, now I can trade with him and he can put food on the table. That's how it works. It's a free market economy. Uh, it's capitalism, kid. Hello and welcome to my Minecraft tutorial. This is episode number five in my How to Survive and Thrive series. Oh, hold on. Somebody's grilling up in here in my mob griller. Oh, hi. Thanks for dropping in. Appreciate it. Would you leave us? Oh, and another one. <laughs> well, what's going on here? Everybody wants to drop in. Guys, we don't have time for company today. We have a very, very busy, very big day. Lots of stuff to do. we got a trader in town, but uh, I appreciate the, uh, the visit. Anyway, yeah. So that's what we did in episode number four. We made up a mob griller. Someone gave me that name, a mob griller, and it's a fantastic name. Um, it's typically called a, gr a mob grinder, but mob griller seems to fit the bill pretty well. Anyway, let's get back on track. We have lots of things to do today. Today, my friends, we're going to go talk to the trader right outside. Uh, wandering trader. I call him Waldo because you never know when the guy's going to pop up. It's hard to find, but he is out there waiting and ready for us. We're going to grab a few things before we head out. Um, we do not have anything to trade with him at the moment because he takes typically... Um, emeralds, but we're gonna go to a town very close by and try to get some emeralds. But first we're gonna make a bow So this is a bow three sticks arranged like so and then some string and huzzah We now have a ranged weapon and we have nine arrows thanks to the uh, visitors that dropped off a few here And I had some others stored away. So we now have a whole bunch of arrows pretty cool stuff now one other thing we need to do before this trader takes off we do have to go to the town to trade um, but I want something from him. He's got llamas, and we can get um, we can get leads from the finch. <laughs> we can get leads from him and the llamas if we. Oh, he's. Oh, that's a witch. That's a witch. You hear, guy? Guy's a witch. Gosh, everybody's visiting. Is she coming down? Is she coming down? Hold on a sec. I'm gonna make a little fence here because we're gonna try to trap. Um, we're gonna try to trap this guy's llamas. Because if we can separate him from his llamas, they will drop leads. And we could use the leads. The leads are hard to make because you need um, you need slime. It's not easy to find slime. I don't know if that witch is coming by. I'm not sure where she is. But we don't have time for company. So let's go over here real quick. Have a look at this guy's trades. Uh -huh. Hi. Nice to meet you, Waldo. Get over here. So Waldo here will offer us uh -huh. six trades. And again, see, so he needs, he wants emeralds. He's interested in emeralds, and this is what he's going to give us. Vines, sugarcane, brown mushroom, kelp, red dye, and podzo. Uh -huh. So, yeah, not too exciting. <laughs> I can get all of this stuff pretty, very easily, uh -huh. actually. Yes, I can. Don't you deny it. Except for the podzo. Podzo's not uh -huh. only difficult to find, but very hard to acquire because you need a silk touch to uh to to acquire it to pick it up so i'm interested in the podzo unfortunately i don't have any emeralds but if you stick around here for a little while buddy i will go get some emeralds and that'll be fantastic now see the leads right here he's got two uh -huh. llamas yes mm -hmm. we are going to separate him from his llamas if i can and then try to get those leads now he's going to disappear after a while he usually only sticks around for about uh i think 40 to 60 minutes right so we're going to try to get the, these leads before he disappears. And this is going to be easy. There we go. All right. Now, all he has to do is walk away from his llamas. And we'll get those leads. Oh, I hear that witch. She's inside here somewhere. Unfortunately, she's not going to go um, visit. All right, buddy. Come on over here, okay? Come on. Yes, over here. There we go. Stretch those leads and pop. <laughs> Thanks. I think he dropped them. They're over here somewhere. Let's check under this tree. Yeah, there they are. Did we get two or one? We got uh, we got two leads. Fantastic. All right, you guys are free to go. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, you could also you could also just kill them. You could kill him too and get the leads. He'll drop, I think, a couple of leads. But if you kill the llamas, they'll drop leads too. So I don't want to kill them though. That's not very nice. So we do it the we do it the passive, friendly way by just separating them. Um, and now we gotta go. So stay right here, Waldo. We'll be right back. We gotta go do some trading at the village. And there is a village right around the corner here that I happened to see um, in one of the earlier episodes. And some of you guys pointed that out to me. It was when I was chasing the bunny down here in the desert. You could see a, uh, a savanna village off in the distance in this direction. So we're gonna head over there and try to get some trading going. 
um, we just have to find some trade materials. And that's going to be the tricky part. But if there's a farmer there, we should be able to uh, maybe steal their wheat and give it right back to them. That usually works. And also, oh yeah, right there, sugarcane's good too because we can turn sugarcane into paper. And um, we can trade for we can trade paper for emeralds. But let's make a little boat here, a little acacia boat. Let's grab that crafting bench. And we got to do this fast though because that Waldo's not going to stick around long. Ooh. I want more fish, too, because if there's uh, any stray cats at this town, we can tame them. All right, grab the sugar cane. Again, this can be turned into paper that can be traded for emeralds. And we only need three for that pod zone. And I have a plan for pod zone. I'm going to show you guys something really, really fun we can do with pod zone. But probably not in this episode. I don't know if we're going to have the time. Well, there's that little crazy bunny. I'll be back for you. I will be back for you. Here's some more sugar cane around this. I'm going to grow sugarcane back at home eventually. But for right now, just grab that little bit and move on. Let's get going. That village is right around the corner. I don't see any more sugarcane around. So hopefully there's a farmer here. Oh, here we go. Look at that place. It's beautiful. I see wheat. I see uh, wheat. Bales of hay, which can be turned into wheat. So that's a good sign. That means there might be a farmer around oh hello we got a guy right here hi buddy let's put that sword down let's get a free hand to open and say hi oh what's up okay this fellow right here is unemployed he does not have a job so he is not a farmer obviously um the way this works is these villagers might have jobs and they might be either nitwits or unemployed um but we can help them change their jobs we can we can actually provide them with employment opportunities but first let's grab this hay because the hay can be turned into wheat and we can use that for trading if we can find a farmer that is if we can't find a farmer here we'll make a farmer and we can do that by providing an unemployed um, villager with a uh, the, the farmers work station which is a composter can we make a composter yet I, I'm pretty sure we can let's see compo yeah right here right here why don't we just make one so we can turn uh, we can turn one of these villagers in to a farmer if there isn't one already. In fact, we could do this right now. There's really no need to mess around and explore this town looking for a farmer when we can turn this guy into a farmer with all this wheat here. All right, hey pal, um, would you like to be a farmer? Aww. Yes, you would. Okay, you're hired. <laughs> and look at that. And he wants to trade wheat, and he'll give huh? us emeralds for wheat. We can give him emeralds for bread. And I heard a kitty cat. I heard a kitty cat, although I'm trying to stay focused on this one task at hand um, to get back to that trader <laughs> before he leaves us, because he will leave eventually. All right, I don't see the cat. Stay right there, Mr. Farmer. Stay right there, and congratulations on the new job. <laughs> so let's grab all of the hay, and we're going to turn it into wheat, and then we're going to trade with Mr. Farmer here on his first day. His first task for the day will be to trade with us, and we'll get some emeralds. And then we'll hustle back to uh, Waldo and try to get that puzzle. I mean, puzzle is not really that exciting, to be honest, but I would like to demonstrate that trade, and I want to use that puzzle later. So where's Mr. Farmer? Mr. Farmer, don't talk to that guy. Get back to work. Who is this guy? This guy does not have a job. Hey, pal, you want a job? Hey, okay. Well, I guess that means no. All right, get back over here, Mr. Farmer. Right here. Oh, wait. First, let's take our hay, drop it in here, and we can make it into wheat. Just turn it all into wheat. Look at all that wheat. <laughs> he is definitely not going to trade for all of this wheat, but let me show you how they how they operate. So turn around and look at my wheat. Dude, stop moving. Um, he doesn't seem interested in the wheat right now, probably because it's nighttime, and he's going to want to go to bed, and I think the zombies are on. Oh, my gosh, there's a kid in here. Wake up, kid. The zombie's coming. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, let's let that kid sleep. And we're going to need to find a bed. Here, here's a bed. Let's hop in. Oh, oh gosh. I hear a... That sounded like a zombie villager. Uh-oh. I hope somebody didn't already get et. Oh, the kid's awake. Anyway, let's see if this guy's going to make his trade now. Yeah, there we go. That's what we're looking for. So they do have kind of a daily routine. And when the sun goes down, they're going to run into their homes and go to sleep. Because the zombies come out and zombies want to eat them, of course. Oh, hi, kid. Is this your daddy? Your dad has a job. 
You should be thankful, because look, now I can trade with him, and he can put food on the table. That's how it works. It's a free market economy. Uh, it's capitalism, kid. So now we drop our wheat in here, right? So for 20 wheat, we get an emerald. There we go. What a deal. Look at that, kid. <laughs> Your dad's the best farmer ever, at least in this town anyway. And you can see right here, with every uh, trade that we make, we're gaining experience with this guy. Or he's gaining experience. He's getting better at the job all the time. Look at you. Improvements made all around. You're getting very good at this. And we're going to just keep trading until he stops trading. Because eventually... Oh, you don't want any more wheat? You sure? Let's wait here. Okay, there we go. That's what we're looking for. That little little farty bubbles. That means he is now an apprentice. So we went from novice to apprentice. On your first day. Actually, it's technically, I guess it's your second day. Uh, wait, get over here. Uh, so now, after having uh -huh. upgraded from yeah. novice to apprentice, he's opened up some new trades here. And we can trade him pumpkins for uh -huh. emeralds, and we can give him emeralds yeah. for apples. But we uh -huh. still want to do this wheat trading until he's uh -huh. sick of wheat. Oh, there we go. Uh -huh. He's sick of wheat, so he has to restock up um, today, uh -huh. and then he'll trade more wheat later. Uh -huh. But uh, he will literally go to his little compost composter and... Um, uh -huh drop off wheat or something i'm not sure exactly what happens behind the scenes but but he'll buy we look at him, he doesn't want any more wheat i get it i get it oh <laughs> uh, so he's done with the wheat that's fine but we are going to take a little bit more of this i want some bales of hay we can trade later there might actually be another farmer around and there's certainly other villagers here with different jobs but we'll have to come back to this town later when we when we're not under the gun because right now we have a sense of urgency we got to get back and trade with our friend um waldo before he leaves we have eight emeralds that'll be enough to get a couple of stacks well not stacks but at least um uh, we'll get at least six um puzzle so that's good we'll be back okay let's turn around beep 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 and let's go and hopefully waldo's still back there waiting for us because if not then this whole exercise was kind of a kind of a waste. Although not really, because you did learn a little bit about trading and changing people's uh, profession simply by providing them with their workstation. And obviously, the farmer's workstation is a compost bin. All right, we're just about at the hidey hole. This is where we left Waldo. I see the llamas. Oh no, I see one llama. Uh, where's that? Oh no. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Looks like there's somebody in the uh, griller. Are you grilling? Are you grilling here in my griller? You are? Okay. Nice. Good work. Good work, Waldo. I hope Waldo doesn't fall in there. Actually, hmm. That could be interesting to find out what would happen. But first, we need to make this trade. Yeah, you like this, don't you? We have eight emeralds to trade. We're going to trade. We'll make two trades. Um, and that's, well, that's all I'm really interested in. We can get vines. Uh, at a jungle or a swamp, sugar cane's easy to find, obviously. Brown mushrooms, easy. Kelp's easy. And red dye's easy. So we're going to hang on to those last two emeralds. And now, Waldo, thank you very much for your business, sir. And um, I want to show you something. Come on over here for a second. You know, I've got this chimney thing, and it looks like it's clogged. So maybe you can help me. Do you have anything for clogged chimneys? Hmm? Right there. Don't move, okay? Stay right there and then get in and have a look down there. Yeah, it's a leaky chimney and I could really have a... I could really use some tar or something. You got any tar? Tar would be nice and I could probably stop that leak. I don't think he has tar. But he might have a bucket of water and an invisibility potion. <laughs> we already got his leads, uh, but we didn't get anything else. That's unfortunate. Maybe I had to hit him first. Maybe do some damage. Or kill them outright. I'm not sure if they drop uh, their loot if they die in a fire. I don't know. But anyway, that was kind of cool, I suppose. We did that for science, folks. Don't worry, Waldo will be back. I know it seemed very cruel to put Waldo in my mob griller. <laughs> but uh, it's all for science, and he'll be back. He always comes back. You just have to find him. Or actually, he'll find us anyway. Waldo always finds us. He'll come back around with some new llamas new leads and uh we shall trade and experiment with waldo in the future again and i think i might actually steal his llamas so if we ride the llamas we can tame them <laughs> oh come on pal yeah, waldo's gone he's not coming back there we go best friends forever yay bffs and now i can lead this fella just like uh waldo did we'll bring him out here in front
These guys spit at zombies, so they're actually good to have for, like, a, a defensive tower, like a turret, right? So let's put them, uh, put them right here. Let's stick you right here, okay? Stay right there. If zombies come around, you spit at them, okay? And they actually do damage. They can kill zombies over time. It's going to take a long time to kill a zombie with gob. But uh, in the long run, it works. So let's tame this guy too. And they shouldn't despawn. Once they're tamed, as far as I know, they stick around, um, well, until they get killed. If they get killed, that is. And we cannot ride these guys. You can't put saddles on them. But you can put, like, um, little blankets on them. And they look kind of kind of pretty with their new blankets. And we'll maybe do that in the next episode. Of course, we're going to go back to the village. We're not done in that village. There's lots more to do in the village. And we shall do more there very, very soon. Let's set you up over here, buddy. Glad we got these two leads. <laughs> there we go. We got our defensive turrets out front. And they will shoot at any zombies that come around. So, yeah, not a bad day. Not a bad trading. We got our pods all. And we'll take a look at that in the future. We got some emeralds. And we have, uh, well, we got two two stray llamas that don't have an owner anymore. So, now they're ours. And, of course, the, um, the leads. That's a pretty good thing to have, too. So, I think we're done here for now, my friends. I know this was a pretty short episode. It was kind of quick, but... I wanted to uh, get back here and trade with Waldo before he disappeared. So we had to have a little sense of urgency. But we'll, like I said, we'll go back to that town. We'll do some investigation and exploring it. There's lots more there to be, um, to, to be discovered. And we'll do that in a future episode. So hope you enjoyed this episode. And we'll see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, don't you dare spit at me. Do I look like a zombie to you? I heard that. All right, who said that?